Okay, this is Leo. Alright, um, not entirely clear what's supposed to be happening there. Um, he seems like he's doing the same few poses over and over again, and then he slides off. Um, let's take a look at the Maya file. Just want to make sure I'm set to uh, 2400. I mean, the sliding off is pretty interesting, and it's not too bad. It's these first few poses, I can't really tell what's supposed to be happening there. Um, so you might want to rework those. Also, you know, make sure you get, you know, more of the fingers involved, and, you know, don't, don't, right now the, everything from kind of here down is perfectly stock still for the first part up until there. So try to get at least a little bit of weight shifting or movement in there so it doesn't look frozen. Um, also, you were meant to have um, referenced your character into this, um, and I can see that you just imported it. Uh, the idea being that you want a clean rig file where you're making your changes to the rig, and then you want um, a, uh, um, you know, you want to reference it in, and then any updates you make to the rig will then be reflected in this file. And to um, so you can fix it after the fact. Um, and I'm wondering, is this your... If this is your rig file, I can probably show you how to do it. What's it called? Base Model 3 Eyebrows and Rig. Oh yeah. Okay, so I can show you how to do that. Um, I'm just gonna G five. Oh, here going to copy that and put it into your project folder um, here. Okay. And then um, so let, let me show that process first. I'm going to go ahead and open up um, this module 11 thing. And so the first thing we need to do, if you, you know, you're going to want to keep your animation. So I'm going to um, select the top node. And yeah, you should get this all organized. You've got all kinds of stuff in there. Um, where is that? Okay, here's the imported thing. So I'm selecting the top node of that. And then first I go Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, and next to Anim Import, I make sure that these two are checked. Then with this top node selected, I'm going to go to File, Export Selection, Options, and make sure I'm set to Anim Export, which is at the bottom of this list, and set the very important setting of Hierarchy below, so it does everything below in the hierarchy of that selected node and then export and I'll just call this you know module 11 animation or something call it whatever you want okay oh could not save the file lovely okay let's try again and export but let's just reset this and anim export Below export selection looks like it did. It was says zero bytes. Interesting. Um, two, and it's giving me that same error. Let's just 
for fun, let's try saving this to the desktop. Wow. This has never happened before. Oh. Did I have the wrong thing selected? Or maybe I had the wrong thing selected. That's very possible. Let's try that again. I needed the top of the... I think I selected the geometry hierarchy, not the rig. So let's try that again. File, export selection, options, and I'll just do it on the desktop for now. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I had the wrong node selected. It's the top of your rig hierarchy, which is what I meant to select. Okay, well then let's delete um, all of this out of here. Okay, and it'd be a good idea to group all this stuff. Just to keep things organized. And then um, now you're going to create a reference. File, create reference. And we will choose your uh, rig file that we copied in there. And it's that base model, blah, blah, blah. Reference that in, continue. And then we should be able to take the top, oops, wrong one, top node of that and do file import options and I'm import, import. And I just threw that on the desktop because it was being weird. So it's freezing up right now. Let's see if it comes back. Usually it's very quick, so this is concerning. I'm going to check the, um, it seems to be using a lot of memory and a fair amount of processor. It does say it's not responding, so I don't know how long I would give this. Probably not any longer. And let's just try ending task. Okay. All right, let's try it again. Um, module 11. Okay, that's with him in there. Let's just save this as 02. And let's try deleting him out of there. And did that get the rig too, I hope? Don't need these sets. It said probably group all this stuff. Okay, and let's save that just kind of save it each step of the way and then let's um, create reference and bring that in and save that okay and here's the part where 
we uh, crashed the last time. Let's try one more time. Import options. Anim import. Import and this time. No, I think it's crashing again. So I think at this point I would try, maybe there was a problem on the export. So I would probably um, try to export it again. Um, so I'm going to just control shift escape to get the task manager and let's try to end Maya. Launch it again. And here was the original one. Let's try to export the animation again. You can see I thought I was in mouth main. And group. Well, let's just check that next node down to make sure that's the same. Yeah, that's just geometry. Okay. Let's try exporting the animation one more time. Um, export anim export. Hierarchy below. Export. And let's just call this number three. Okay. And let's open this other one where we've referenced in the character. And yeah, I thought it was a mouse. Seems like, you know, it's not like I've thoroughly checked it, but. A quick check, it seems the same. Um, import options. And I'm import. Import. Yes. Number three. And. No. Well, usually this works. I have no idea why it's not working. I mean, we could sit it out and wait a few minutes and see if it eventually comes back, but. Uh, my guess is that something's not right, so it's somehow not working. And what can happen, one thing I know that can happen is that if something's changed about the hierarchy between the one that you're exporting and then trying to import it back on, that it can not work. So it could be that, um, that there's something different in the hierarchy in the new one. So um, it's a little tricky. I mean, unless we can get this anim exported to work, you're stuck with your file being imported into the scene rather than referencing, which means you won't have a clean version of your rig to work with. You'll have to work with the rig inside the file. Um, just gonna kill this again. Just look at this rig file. And uh, I think you were saying something about blend shapes. Um, That's working. Um, well, we 
probably don't want to create a whole new part save. What? Oh, there it is, that target. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, this is what you're talking about. Fun. Is it one matches greater than one matches for head? Ah, that's what it's saying. So let's do select head star syntax error. Okay, well, that's fun. Let's type head star in here. So there's this head. Hmm. I don't see anything else. But there's these two. Maybe it's referring to those two. I wonder what happens if I delete this one out. Does it still have flange shapes? Those are broken now. No, yeah, those are broken. And then let's add a target. Okay. I'm just gonna, you know, not really try to do anything for real, but let's just, you know, move something and then turn editing off. And that does not seem to be working. Hmm. Uh, all right. Well, Oh, this isn't even bound. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I, um, when I deleted it, it was the bound one. Okay, that one is bound. Um, so let's just try it again. Let's. Um, going to select this blend shape and delete it. Okay, and do you have a group with these? You do. Create blend shape. Um, add target. Oh, and then it's still doing it again. Found greater than one matches for head. See, I think it's interesting that there's Poly Unite. Hmm. This is the head that's bound. And then there's this other head. Maybe it's that head that's causing the problem. Let's try this again. Nope. Oh, and it's back again. As soon as I add target, that's when that head shows up. Oh. Okay, now it's letting me do it after I hit it again. So. Well, that's actually, let's do this one. See if this is working. Okay, well, yeah, um, that's kind of messy. All right, now let's add another one. And 
I don't know, just call it a smile or something. I'm just going to do it really rough just to see that it's actually functioning. Oh, look, there's more than one surface there. So I think we have to maybe hide this one. Okay, that seems to be working now. I don't I don't know what the deal is, why it's being weird, but yeah, I think it seems like as soon as I hit add target again it it starts working, so maybe try that. <laughs> 